Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Hope you've had a good week and hope you're off to a great start to your weekend. Uh, again, we're back with you today to do a short devotion based on a thought that uh, we've had from the message from TJ on Sunday. Um, lots of great material in that message, lots of great points that TJ made. It was a fantastic message that, that God sent through him. And uh, from the point about, you know, staying focused on the race that we run, staying focused on the prize and, and also the, the point about um, not being distracted uh, and, you know, so lots of good things there. So I do want to just uh, recap on the scriptures that uh, TJ uh, preached from on Sunday. And I want to uh, just talk about something that kind of stuck out to me uh, in the message. And so today's devotion for me, it may be geared more towards parents because uh, that's how it kind of spoke to me. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and get started. I've, I've titled today's devotion, Just Looking to Jesus. Uh, that's what stuck out to me about uh, one of these scriptures here. And so if we look in Hebrews chapter 12, where the message came from on Sunday, verses one and two uh, were our main verses. And so I want to just start by reading that. Verse one says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Verse two, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. And so, you know, this this definitely uh, set up, you know, was the, the foundation of the message talking about uh, running with patience, the race that's set before us. But then the part that actually stuck out to me that TJ said was really in the in the introduction uh, to the message, and it was it was talking about um, how you know we need to. Uh, he actually mentioned something about people are are always watching, right? People are are watching us and and noticing us as as Christians and Christians. And so when I looked at the start of verse two, they're looking unto Jesus, right? Looking unto Jesus. And so uh, let's let's think about the quote. Um, that TJ used, and it's a quote from Don Gillette, and I think we've all heard it um, either when he's been at Wise preaching or when we've been on a mission trip, and I think most of the other guys uh, quoted it this weekend, theirs too, so I think it stuck out to us. It's a powerful quote, and it's this right here. What we look for is what we long for, and what we long for is what we live for, right? So when we think about that and how we apply it to our individual lives is what is it that we are looking for? Right? What, what is it that we look for every day? Are we looking for success? Are we looking for material things? Are we looking uh, to live a life that Jesus wants us to live? Right, And so what we look for becomes what we long for. It becomes what's important to us. It becomes what we you know, desire. And then what we long for or what we desire is what we live for. That's what we start to live our everyday lives to achieve. Right. And so what is it that we're looking for? And so I started thinking about this in terms of parents. Now, if you have uh, kids like many of us do, I have three of my own uh, kids nowadays are looking for a role model. Kids are looking to people to model their lives after. Right. They're at a vulnerable time in their lives. They they need someone to to be a role model for them. They need someone to look up to. And so parents I'm speaking to myself, parents who are out there listening today, your kids watch what you do. Your kids are looking up to you, whether you realize it or not. Your kids are watching your every move and they want to be like you, right? And so when we think about that, what is it that we are looking for? And then what are we longing for? And what are we living for? Because our kids also are going to be looking and longing and living for the same thing. Right. They're going to be watching our every move. They're going to be hanging on every word. They, my kids uh, hear everything that I say, sometimes more than what I want them to hear. Right. And, and they're very curious and they they start to uh, exhibit behaviors that we exhibit. They start to say things that we say. They start to do things that we do. So when we think about that, we think about verse two, looking to Jesus Right. That's what we should be looking to. We should be looking to Jesus 
um, the author and finisher of our faith. So my challenge to you today is simple. As parents, um, or maybe you're not parents, but you have people who, um, who you know, you're influ you have influence over, um, let them see you looking to Jesus. Because when we look to Jesus, that becomes all of a sudden what we long for. That becomes what we desire. When we look for Jesus, we start to desire Jesus. And when we start to desire that and long for that, that all of a sudden becomes our reason for living. That becomes what we live for. So what are you looking to today? What are you longing for? What are you living for today? And know that people are always watching. And if it's not that you have kids who are you know, looking to you as a role model, it's your peers. It's your friends, it's your coworkers, it's the person you pass in the grocery store. There's always someone who is watching and listening to see how you're living your life. Because no, at no matter what age, there are people who are searching um, for other people to model their lives after. We have influence on the people around us. Let's make sure it's a positive influence for Jesus. So hope you get a little something out of that today. Hope you'll join us at Mount Olive tomorrow at 11, whether it's live uh, or online. Uh, we'd love to see you either way. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you soon.